Hey guys, me and Yasmin here. Today we're going to be showing you how to drill working on your head movements, specifically jabs and crosses. Something to understand with this, we're going to be building our way up, right? Starting with very low intensity and low variables. So that means low variables is uh, like less punching, less options for Yazzie to throw punches at me. And then we're going to build our way up from there and slowly make it more and more difficult until we're at a point where it looks like we're just applying it like we would in a fight. Okay, so just some context there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow along if you want to do something like this as well. Just going to do a bit of voiceover uh, on the training that me and Yasmin were doing here. And you see, we're starting out by warming up with the center line drill. And the center line drill, more or less, is Yazzie holds her lead hand at my head height, and I'm just going to work my head movement around that, a little bit of footwork in between. Um, you can start working counters as well, but it's just to get you moving a bit and kind of give you an idea as to where your partner or your opponent would be striking from. It's a good way to just get started with moving. Then we're going to start by just throwing the jab. And you see I'm slipping inside and outside. Yazzie's uh, switching up her rhythms a little bit for me, working in a bit of parrying, but I'm trying to put all of my focus towards doing head movement. So I slip in, I'm closing distance, I'm moving away, I'm taking angles. I'm not worrying about countering at all yet. Just again, focusing on super smooth head movement and doing that technique as best as I possibly can. And Yazzie really can't be cheating me through these techniques at all. Then I get her to just throw the cross. I'm gonna get comfortable moving around just that punch. So I'm slipping, I'm pulling, trying to take angles, taking little steps to pivot. Right, and she's just going to continue to throw that punch and slowly pick up the intensity as we go. And then she makes in both the punches. So now we have the jab and the cross. We're building our way up. And the whole time I'm looking at her chest, I'm reading from her midsection, figuring out where these punches are going the entire time, closing the distance, maybe practicing some MMA techniques. But again, I'm just focusing on purely defensive movements to get going because if you can't uh, do the defensive movement perfectly then you really can't expect to do your counters as best as you possibly can a little crash underneath her arm there now she's going to switch back to just throwing the jab and i'm going to work some counters off of that so i started with you know that intercept overhand countered come in with my uh, uppercuts and hooks to the body by uh, crashing again closing the distance she'll frame off all right, setting up that slip cross, and the whole time I'm focusing on using my head movement to set up these counters just around that punch. And again, she's switching up the rhythms a little bit on me and not giving me any freebies. And same thing, just the cross, right? I'm slipping, countering with that shovel hook to the body. Practice that a couple times. And sometimes if I make a mistake, Yazzie will give me a couple more tries to kind of hit that same technique again. You see I'm repeating with that intercept cross, then following up with some other strikes. Uh, she's giving me opportunities to get better at the techniques that I want to be working without making it too easy where it starts feeling unrealistic. See, there's a check uppercut just as she's throwing. I'm countering right underneath her arm, constantly moving the entire time. Now again, right, she's going to throw jabs and crosses at me. I'm going to figure out to counter around those, right, timing each one of my counters. And when you're doing this type of stuff, you don't want to be just backing up the entire time. So I'm trying to take some angles around the way that she's moving with me, just like right there, right, countering with short uppercuts and hooks. And I'm touching her body, but just shadowing the punches to her head. Right, again, crashing, practicing all kinds of different techniques. Right, this is open-ended. I, I know a lot of different variations of stuff that we can do, so I mix it up. So now Yazzie's going to throw all of her uh, punching techniques or boxing techniques at me, and I'm going to try to just work my head movement around that jab and cross. Every time she throws her jab and cross at me, I'm going to do a slip. All right, so she mixes it up a little bit. All right, when she throws a hook, I can defend any way I want, but I want to try to slip every single one of those straight punches. She starts by not really doing combinations, just singular punches at a time. Right, again, you see that crash. I'm right, kind of sticking to more simplistic blocking. All right, now I'm going to do the exact same drill, but I'm only going to counter the jab and the cross while using my head movement still. See, I slipped countered there. All right, again. 
But once she's throwing those hook, I'm just defending myself. So I'm putting all my emphasis towards just countering that single technique in any way that I want to. I'm mostly just throwing boxing strikes, but you could be working your kicks around this too, right? Slipping off, uh, throwing round kicks up to the body, and there's another shovel hook. I'm blocking, I'm just defending myself the whole time. I want to punch her there. <laughs> Now it's full kickboxing, so she can throw any strike that she wants to throw at me. And again, we start slow, just singular strikes at a time. And I'm just going to try to use my head movement, or try to use my slipping on every single jab and cross she throws at me, no matter what's happening. But everything else, I'm kind of just defending any way that I want to. Right? And if I make a big mistake, she'll give me an opportunity to kind of do that technique correctly. Alright, she's kicking slowly picking up the intensity and mixing up the different variations of techniques. And now again, same idea, I'm only gonna counter that jab and cross. Still just using my head movement and everything else I'm just going to defend. This is a great way to learn um, you know, how to set up your opponents, how to bait them into throwing strikes, how to draw strikes out of them so you can hit that perfect counter that you were looking for. Maybe throughout the fight you've been peppered with the jab a lot and every time he's throwing that jab he, he's just setting up that big cross or something along those lines. You could use this type of training to practice reading a very specific technique and only reacting on that one. Okay guys, so you see how we kind of increased the amount of variables that we're using throughout the rounds, increased the intensity as the rounds went on. If you're doing this perfectly every single time, then your partner's really not challenging you enough. And that's why we uh, vary those variables and in intensity. Yazzie could just challenge me with the jab if she's able to mix in uh, lots of fainting and level changing to uh, make me really uh, challenged when it comes to doing my head movement. So anyways, uh, those are some simple examples of a way that you could scale your training to work on your uh, slipping for jabs and crosses. And uh, if you could like the video, leave a comment of something you want to see in the future and uh, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.